Preview. Hey guys, welcome to my channel Pixel Triangle Production. Myself Yogesh, and I am back with a new video. So today I am going to cover a topic on how you can convert your normal looking image to a better looking image just by using three tools that are available in a Photoshop. So before we start a video, if you like such kind of content, do hit like, share, and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my upcoming videos. I know that learning a Photoshop is a little bit hectic or you can say it is a harder process especially for the new photographers but you don't need to worry I am here to show you some mind blowing tools and trust me if you practice them with your photograph for a while you will get some good results. So without wasting any time let's move on to Photoshop and start editing. So before we start our editing I need to give a big thanks to signatureedits.com on which you can watch different kinds of tutorial regarding photography as well as you can also download free raw images for your editing purpose and you can also upload your own raw images to help others they are also providing paid lightroom presets to give magic to your photos so do check out their website i have added the link in the description so moving towards the edit our first tool is a healing brush tool here we will be using this tool to clean the blemishes from the subject or any unwanted things that will distract our image. So let's create a duplicate layer first. Let's rename it as a retouching and yes always remember to create a copy of an image before you start editing on it in case if you want the original image back. Ok now select the healing brush tool from the toolbox panel which is located on the left side of a window. As you can see there are 5 categories present under this but for removing blemishes we can either use normal healing brush tool or spot healing brush tool. So first let's select the spot healing brush tool and um, for that make sure you have selected the duplicate layer which you have created. You can adjust your brush size according to you. Now start cleaning the blemishes just by clicking on it. Here the advantage of using spot healing brush tool is that uh, it saves your time for cleaning the process as compared to healing brush tool but uh, somewhere you can lose a little bit accuracy of the colors. So now we will do the same thing using a normal healing brush tool. For this we need to create a blank layer and make sure that you have selected the current and the below layer. So let's start painting on the layer that we have created. So for the normal healing brush tool you have to select the sample from where you want by holding a alt key option and then start removing the blemishes. You can use your own choice of brush tool for healing. You can go for spot if you are comfortable with that or you can choose the healing brush tool if you are comfortable with it. I mostly prefer the healing brush tool as it gives me more control on my cleaning process. I know it's a little bit time consuming but for me it works but at the end it's up to you for which you want to go either you can go for spot healing or either you can go for normal healing brush tool for a healing process. So now let's merge the image. To merge the image select on the layers right click then merge layer or you can also use the shortcut key which is ctrl plus e on a windows. So the cleaning part is done here. So here is the before image and here is the after image. So after we have completed our first process which is the healing process. The second tool that we are going to use is the dodging and a burning tool. So let's select the dodging tool from the toolbox panel. Select the range which you want to enhance. Currently I am going with the midtones. You can go with highlight and shadows depend on you. Adjust the brush size according to you. Make sure the exposure value is not too high. For me 4 is fine. So let's start painting on the image. Make sure that you have selected the proper layer on which you want to carry the dodging and burning process. Here the dodging term is nothing but the selective lightening of a specific area of an image. And burning seems to be an opposite which is selective darkening of a specific area of an image. So the dodging is done and i don't think i need to apply the burning for the image but still for your concern let's do the little burning on the flower so i will select the burning tool same from the toolbox panel now let's paint on the flower don't do all this process in a hurry like i am showing you the video so i am doing fast but uh, for you take your time give your best and carry all your process with the patience 
so the burning is also completed here and uh, this is the before image and this is the after image now that we have completed both dodging and burning process it's time for our third tool which are curves you can find the curve tools directly in the adjustment tab or else you can find the curves adjustment layer here down select the curves here make sure that you have selected the RGB which stand for red, green and blue. You might be knowing that. You can also select a particular color as per your needs but for now I am keeping it to the RGB. So let's pull the highlight little bit and pull in the shadows. I will try to make a S shape curve but don't overdo it. Yeah so this is ok for me. So let's merge this again. So here is the final result of an image by using a three tools. The first one was the healing brush tool. The second one was a dodging and burning tool and the third one was curves. So this is the before image and this is the after image. So the editing is completed. Let's save the image and check how we have converted our normal looking image to a good looking image just by using three tools in Photoshop. So these are the tools that you want to practice with using your photographs and if you carry this process step by step uh, it's not so complicated. So I hope you like my videos, uh, try creating your beautiful edits using this amazing tool and do not forget to tag me on my Instagram handle, I have added a link in the description. Also thanks for watching my video once again and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do the same. Peace out.